trailer on the two inch hitch. Well, I can shoot a shotgun, I can catch a fish. I can change a tire on the side of a road. Yeah, I know a few things a man ought to know. Wilson. What's going on, man? What's going on? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Just drinking my coffee, getting going, man. What about you? Man, I love it. You love your coffee, right, Lainey? Oh my gosh, dude. It's like one and a half cups. I've got it down. I used to, it used to be three cups for me, but I'm like trying to cut back one and a half. I'm like, I feel like a human again. I love it. I love it. But yeah, I mean, so excited to start the week off this way, Lainey, because I have to tell you, we get so excited whenever we have burgeoning stars, you know, whenever it's like we're like early on cryptocurrency. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like with you. Like super oh, stoked to have you. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, it's true. Thank I mean, you I mean, your album, you know, saying what I'm thinking came out in February, Lainey, and uh, it took over country music by storm. I mean, look, I mean, look at all the clips that you've done already in such a short career. So let me like indulge here for, for my audience for just a second, because you are like a shining star. Look at this. I mean, that is good. But check out, check out this one, lady. Check out this one right here. Like one after another. How about this one? Look at this one. <laughs> Lenny, drop Man, the you know how to make here, me man. feel good. <laughs> Listen, this is all your art, dude. That is the beautiful thing. Congratulations on everything, Lenny. Dude, thank you so much. I'm so yeah. proud of that record for real. That sometimes I for, like I'll turn it on and forget that it's me. <laughs> I'll be like, "Dang, this is kind of good." <laughs> Absolutely, because you've worked oh. on it for so long, and it's like out into the universe. But yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, totally. I'm, just, totally. I'm, I'm ready to uh, put the next batch out. I'm just like, we've been rocking and rolling. I mean, throughout quarantine, I think I wrote like 300 plus songs and 300 plus um, songs. We're just, I'm like, let's go. Let's put out 10 more records. I wish it worked like that. <laughs> so, you know, whenever it's time for the next one, Lainey, how do you start filtering the 300? You know, like, where do you start with that? You know, like for me with this past record, we basically built it upon, um, you know, like the songs had to be saying what I'm thinking. So we asked ourselves the question, whether it was WWWD, small town girl, things a man ought to know, dirty looks, whatever. We asked ourselves the question, is this saying what I'm thinking? And if it wasn't, it didn't make the list. And I'm kind of feeling like in order for me to uh, figure out what 10 or 12 songs I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to have to have another theme because yeah. they're just too much like my babies. And um, <laughs> I know they all serve a purpose, you know, Maybe just to get me to that next song, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Deluxe editions. But yeah, Lenia, let me ask you, you know, obviously, you know, everybody in Nashville loves you. Everybody in, in critics, fans, like you're making a lot of noise. I mean, you know, NPR, CMT, you name it. So, you know, I, I meant to ask you this, like iHeart Media, On The Verge, all that stuff. Um, is, is life crazy right now, Lenny? And I mean it like, do you talk to anyone maybe professionally about like all these new you know <sighs> fame and, and and people wanting stuff from you and uh you know it's like been weird variables. lately it's definitely been this this new feeling of um 
you know, I've got such like a good friend group, by the way, this is my puppy hippie and she wanted to be in here. Oh my God. Okay. So for the audio audience, a beautiful dog just shut up and that's hippie. So now we know what half the songs. You can hear her. If you hear snorting, it's not me. (laughs) (laughs) But you know, I've got a lot of friends, great, great friends. And it's taken me a really long time to find them. I feel like I've I've changed friends in this town like underwear you know I mean it's like yeah. you just got to keep trying to you till you find the ones who are you know the most like you or the ones that make you want to be better and um I've got a lot of people in my corner right now in my life that will tell me real quick whether they think somebody's intentions are good or bad mm. um you know I mean I've I've had like you know my best friends my roommates um they'll tell me like I think you I think you ought to watch it and I need people like that in my life because oh, yeah you know, I mean, now all of a sudden there are, there are a few people who are wanting to be my friend who, you know, could care less (laughs) not too long ago. So, and I get it. It's all, I mean, the thing is like, we're all just paying our dues. So I don't really hold it against people that much. I mean, um, I just like, I've always just been the type of person. I've just kept my blinders on, kept my head down. And, you know, I knew that at some point in time that I was going to make my way, whatever that is. And I'm just getting started. Oh, you are just getting started, but because c- that can be a little frustrating, right, Lainey? Like that, no one kind of like reaches out and just being like, "Hey, Lainey, how are you doing today?" But it's always like maybe asking for something or or some weird stuff like that. Yeah, um, it it is is interesting. Um, it is nice every now and then when people just say like, "How are you?" Mm-hmm. You know, and um, and the thing is, and sometimes I want to talk about anything but myself because I talk about myself all day <laughs> long, every day. <laughs> that's just part of the job you know and and thankful for it um but yeah it is nice to be able to kind of just like escape that for just a minute and um and also check on other people too you know um because you get so wrapped up in just doing the dang thing and just trying to get something going and keeping the once the wheels start spinning keeping them spinning and um yeah no I really do have a a lot of girls and boys in my life um songwriters even that I've become really close with who I kind of like filter things through and they'll tell me straight up they are not yeah. afraid so it's important to keep people like that in your life I feel like I dig it I dig it and, and you put that with your drive that you have and that focus that comes from your you know farming parents background and like yep. you're a Taurus girl in the cusp of Gemini you know May 19th birthday man like you gotta <laughs> like you are folk like that is like the way everyone should like grab life by the horns you know what I mean it's great oh my gosh man I am a Taurus for sure I am a Taurus I'm hard-headed um you know so many people try to tell me no and I was like I'll show you yeah exactly more fuel you just keep yeah that's it it fuels my fire and also like I feel like lately every opportunity that I've been given it just pumps me up that much more I'm like you know I'm not the kind of person that gets um I don't want to say that I'm not satisfied because I'm grateful for every opportunity, stepping stone, whatever, but I'm like a bigger picture type person. I'm like, all right, here we go. What's next? What's next? I'm always down for an adventure and um, I'm ready to kick some butt. Like I said earlier. I love it. I love it, Lane. Okay. We have to talk about your early life. I know you talk about it incessantly, but it's like a Hollywood movie, dude. It's like so damn great. Right. So amazing (laughs) story. I mean, so when you're like, you're like nine years old, of course. And like, you know, you're writing songs about tequila and cigarettes, like, Okay, like like that's Lainey Wilson for you. Um, and then you come on this trip to Nashville. We're recording from Nashville as well. And like, you just knew that like, this was your like, your future, right? You just knew it. I knew it. Nine years old. You know, people think that little kids have no clue. You know, they think that they're just like running their mouth when they say stuff like that. But I knew. You knew it. I, like I was on the interstate in the backseat. I looked at the Batman building. We were headed home to Louisiana and I said out loud and I maybe I manifested it but I really did I said yeah at nine years old I said this is home and my parents you know my mom was like Lainey you're nine years old what are you talking about but we went to the Grand Ole Opry that weekend Mm. and I have really truly had this overwhelming feeling like I remember it at nine years old which I've kind of always been an old soul but um I knew that this is where I was supposed to be and I was gonna figure out how to be here one way or another so um, in 2000, 2011, I bought a camper trailer and said, well, let's do this thing. So yeah. <laughs> lived in it for the first three years I was here and it's been a, it's been an interesting journey, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. You were, you were like the secret, you know, that manifestation book, the secret before the secret, you know, way before. Yep. 
I love yep, it. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. And my parents knew it too, you know, and um, they've always kind of encouraged me to, you know, if there's something I wanted to do, you got to go do it. Go get it. Yeah. You know, it's not going to come to you. Yeah, and let me ask you about that because your dad, he wanted to be a professional musician and he had the chops, right? Yeah, so he plays guitar by ear, a little bit of piano. But when he was a little boy, yeah, he used to roll this picnic table out to the side of the highway and play for the cars driving by, um, like next to a railroad track. And he pretended that he was Glenn Campbell and <laughs> Rhinestone Cowboy. Amazing. And um, it's just really crazy how this was, you know, when he was little, at least this was one of his dreams and he's kind of getting to live vicariously through me. And yeah. um and he just, my family has always just loved music. And for me, like growing up country music, I didn't even realize it was a genre. I just thought it was music. Like it was we life. lived yeah. out those. Yeah, that was it. It was a way of life for us. Amazing. And so, um, like most yeah, people grew up soul. with Nickelodeon or like whatever, like Disney Channel. You grew up with Buck Owens and Glenn Campbell. Like that was like your <laughs> vocabulary. I love it. That was it. I mean, I would go ride the tractor with daddy and, you know, and hear what he was listening to. And then. I would be in the kitchen with mama while she was cooking dumplings and hear what she was listening to. So it was a, a little bit of everything, but yeah. mainly my thing was 90s country. Just nice. love it. It really did shape me, um, like my life, but and also my sound. But love it through and through. Eat, sleep, and breathe country music. That's that's a good diet. It's a good diet. Yeah. Love it. Lainey, and like what are some values like, you know, that you that from Louisiana? Uh, like when you were in the tractor va values that like that you carry with you in your heart as things get crazy as you start touring yeah. as you start going places that like will keep you like grounded and will keep you like you know in solid for sure. state for sure so you know what like throughout this entire process I've I've tried I'm not going to tell you that I've succeeded the entire time but throughout all of this I have tried to just um remember that people are not going to remember the, you know, maybe they're not going to remember my, like years ago, my music that I was playing downtown or whatever, mm -hmm. or the songs that I was writing, but they were going to remember the way that I made them feel. So if the only thing I can control is being kind to people, then that's what I'm going to do. And my parents also have really tried to make sure that, you know, I knew the importance of treating people the way that you want to be treated. And um, sometimes that's hard to do. Also, just being honest with yourself and the people around you, that's also hard to do. It can cost you friendships and relationships. Yeah. Um, also, just working hard, you know, going back to the whole farming thing. I just remember my daddy getting up every single day and doing the same thing. You know, I'm talking about like sun up to sundown, busting his tail. And he would have good years. He would have bad years. Uh, a tornado or a hurricane might roll through and wipe it all away but at the end of the day it was his livelihood mm. and what he loved and took pride in that and that's what I'm planning on doing with this dude and you're living it I have to tell you Lenny everyone who people were asking me hey, who do you have on the show coming up you know whatever I'd be like Lenny Wilson everyone would lose their like their stuff oh my god oh, she's man. the best lady she's the sweetest thing people in the industry she's so kind so like you're obviously succeeding at that everyone loves Lenny thank Wilson. you thank you very much I'll tell you what I'm not kind before my one and a half cups of coffee though <laughs> Um, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. If I, I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> right. No one sees that side. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> You're being so nice with your time, Lenny. But let me ask you about tour life because, um, you know, checking out your touring schedule. I mean, in a couple of days from when we're recording this, you're going to be in Charlotte. And then it's kind of like off to the races. Like you're not stopping until December, as, like, no. maybe even more. But that's like as far as it goes. Yeah. Um, how do you prepare for something like this, Lainey? And I don't mean packing and I don't mean the logistics, but like, how do you prefer like your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul? I don't really know if you can completely. Yeah. It's almost like preparing along the way. It's kind of like, especially, you know, this year from not, from not doing it at all for a year and a half and just kind of getting thrown back into there. It's like, you got to get back in there and knock the dust off, uh, yeah. knock the rust off and just like, and just figure out a way to, to balance you know like just running 90 to nothing all the time yeah. and also taking care of yourself I've been uh I've been trying to just like drink lots of water and make sure that I get my sleep yeah. um and I'll tell you what like 
these past few weeks of playing like full band shows, uh-huh. I didn't realize how out of shape I was. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to tell you that exactly. <laughs> I'm like, my butt needs to be on the treadmill. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my God. It's so funny yeah. you mentioned that because this past week, like, yeah, we've been going to cover festivals and that's what we're seeing. Like, yeah, we were in Georgia this weekend and we saw, we see people like come to the side yeah. of the stage, like to get Gatorade, they're exhausted. Like that's the theme. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think honestly, it's just going to be doing it for a little while and then we'll be, you know, like I said, knocking the dust off, yeah. but we are pumped we like my band and also the crowds of people that we've seen lately people are just excited to be there I think it's gonna be better than ever it's gonna be it's gonna be a time to be alive and I'm grateful that um that you know I'm getting to live during this time because I think people need music more than ever Absolutely, Lenny. Let me ask you about a few of, of the songs here of the of the new album. Um, so, yeah, Say What I'm Thinking came out recently. Again, it came out in February. Uh, what happens, Lenny, because I'm fascinated by this whole process. What happens when you come up with a great song uh, in, in like an off cycle, if you mean like, let's say you just released the album and like four days later, you come up with a great idea for a great song. Yeah. How do you yeah. keep that like, how do you like stop it from being forgotten to keep it relevant yes. and all that stuff? For me, I feel like the cream always rises to the top. Mm. Um, I feel like, you know, of course, I'm excited the day that I write something. And I might even be excited the next week and be like, wow, this really is good. But I kind of, I like to give it a good bit of time anyway. I try to like even six months to a year to see if, um, if I'm still just as excited about it because I want my stuff to stand the test of time. Sure. You know, I want to... Um, I want to be able to get up there and sing the song and, and ju- be just as excited as the day I wrote it. And yeah. that's what I can truly say about my entire record that I truly feel that way about those songs. You know, um, maybe sometimes I get excited about songs just because, you know, that's w- exactly what I'm going through during that time. Um, but I will tell you, it's kind of like just like running it through the filter. You know, of course me, of course I've got my opinion, but also my team of people, they're like, you know, if it's one of those songs that just kind of keeps like reappearing and reappearing, I kind of feel like it's the Holy Spirit saying, all right, Laney, you need to listen to your gut. You need to listen to me. Um, you know, this song, there's something special about it. So yeah. that's what it is for me. Just like giving it some time, even I'm telling you, you know how many songs I want to just put out the next day after I wrote them. Yeah. But, um, I know that there is a process to all this. And, um, like I said, if it was up to me, I'd be releasing stuff every single day, but, you know, we, we just can't do that. So um, just giving it some time, letting it breathe and being like, OK, this song is just as special as I thought it was. Amazing. I'm a, amazing quotes, Lainey. You've said it all. You know, I know you got stuff to do, so I'll let you go. Sweet. But just have to just have to tell you, Lainey, it is amazing. Like, you know, of course, your talent is like a plus, but I the purpose that you that you have and the drive, the focus, the way that you like have like a God-given purpose and you're like just doing it. Obstacles are part of life. You're showing your fans that like life is about rolling with the punches, right? Like and making the best of them. And you're just making lemonade out of lemons, dude. That is like the greatest asset. You're inspiring, Lainey. So congratulations on everything. Oh man. Well, I'll tell you what, you made my day. I really have enjoyed talking to you. I appreciate that. Thank you. And say hi to the dog there. Look at that. He's like... Oh, hippie Mae Wilson. He's just, what are you going to do with him on tour? Are you going to take him? <laughs> well, if I can if I can get her potty trained, she might go with me. <laughs> She's going to go. Yeah. Coming soon to a station near you. All right, Lainey Wilson. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Have a All nice right. one. Bye-bye. See you.